Though you may not know this, many people argue that you can only fold a piece of paper in half a maximum of seven times. Go ahead, give it a try. It's perfectly safe to try at home. One suggestion is not using a piece of paper from a notebook. If you're a normal human being with normal strength, I would imagine you managed a maximum of five folds, maybe six if you're quite strong. It is highly unlikely, however, to put seven or more folds in the piece of paper. So why is such a seemingly easy task so difficult to accomplish? Why can't you go beyond seven folds? Well, to begin with, this seven-fold limit is actually a myth. A piece of paper can, in fact, be folded more than seven times. It has been done many times in many places around the world. The trick is that the people who accomplished the feat used a lot of paper. It was not done with a piece of paper you could simply tear from a notebook. Also, there were numerous people involved in the process. Good luck trying to manage more than seven folds on your own with a small piece of paper. Under those conditions, it's basically impossible. Brittany Gallivant from California was one woman with the determination to disprove this long-held concept as a myth. In January of 2000, she took a rather long piece of paper, a single piece of toilet paper that measured 4,000 feet, and folded it 12 times. However, there was more to her achievement than bragging rights alone. She also provided an equation that yielded the width of paper or the length of paper necessary to fold a piece of paper in a single direction. Since Brittany's accomplishment, there have been many instances of people breaking the barrier of seven folds. The one that got a lot of coverage was conducted by a group of students from St. Mark's School. They used a piece of toilet paper that was 10 miles in length and the process took seven hours to complete. The number that these industrious students achieved was 13 folds. The main difficulty of exceeding seven folds lies in the increasing thickness and strength of the paper itself. Basically, if you take a piece of paper that is only 0.1 millimeter thick and fold it in half, the new thickness is 0.2 millimeters. The next fold will make it 0.4 millimeters. This thickness goes on increasing exponentially, as does the height of the paper. If you fold the same piece of paper seven times, it would be as thick as a 128 sheets of paper. Also, with the increase in height, you have less width at your disposal to use for force application to keep the paper folded. So yes, not only does the paper become immensely thick, but it also becomes very tall. In fact, if you folded a paper more than 100 times, you would have a piece of paper thicker than the observable universe itself.